After watching his squad surrender 184 points in their last three outings, Al Headman Homer Rice has brought in martial arts instructor Ted Gambardella to help rebuild the young Al's confidence. Well, we're trying to improve their mental attitude. We're trying to make them better, more aggressive players by making them less likely to be injured. And how do you go about doing that? I have about 12 different factors I teach them to prevent injuries. Everything from how to fall properly, you know, which is why Terry Bradshaw broke his wrist just the other day because he didn't fall right, uh, to flexibility, to balance points, and the main thing I emphasize is the technique of mind control called key, how to get hit without getting hurt. What do you tell them when you talk about these points? Pick one out, for example, and tell us what you say. Well, with the key, the how to get hit without getting hurt, which is the first time it's ever been taught to athletes, I tell them that there's three things that prevent an injury when you're going to get contact on the field. There's your breath, your muscle, and your mind. Now, most players only use their muscle, and that's all the coaches team, uh, tend to emphasize is the muscle, you know, strong, strong, stronger. Well, they don't emphasize their breath at all, the proper breathing techniques, which is very oriental in its aspects. And the third thing is your mind control. Your mind is the strongest part of your body, a lot stronger than any of your muscle, and that's what I emphasize the most, is how to control your mind. Gambardella feels that most football players have only limited knowledge of the game when it comes to protecting themselves. Uh, football is like driving in the dark a lot of times. Uh, you don't know what's happening. When a player gets hit real hard from the sidelines or falls down or someone hits him hard, everybody closes their eyes and goes, oh my goodness. You know, and they expect him to get hurt and they're relieved when he's not hurt. As such. That's because they don't know how to fall. No one ever told them how to get hit or how to not get hurt. And that's why I'm here to show them how to fall into the wall or on top of somebody else and not break their ankle or their wrist. And just how do the Owl football players feel about the karate lessons? I think it's going to really be good from the uh, viewpoint of concentration and flexibility. I think it'll help out, you know, that in addition to our flexibility we already do. And then from the concentration viewpoint, I think it'll be, you know, really beneficial for us. It should help us out pretty, uh, pretty much because we have been suffering from a lot of injuries. And if we learn how to take the blows like he's teaching, it, uh, it'll help us out, keep us healthy. The Owls will get a chance to test their new karate skills when they travel to Texas Tech this Saturday. For Sports 11, this is Knox Nunley. It slices, it dices. Yeah, really. You filming? Yeah. Well, we're trying to improve their mental attitude. We're trying to make them better, more aggressive players by making them less likely to be injured. And how do you go about doing that? I have about 12 different factors I teach them to prevent injuries. Everything from how to fall properly, you know, which is why Terry Bradshaw broke his wrist just the other day because he didn't fall.